Good evening. At about uh, 9.30 this morning, officers assigned to District B3 responded to 29 Ferndale Street for the report of a person with a gun. Upon arrival, officers were informed that the suspect had threatened, had threatened people in that address with a firearm. The officers on scene tried to engage the individual. At this time, that individual went into an apartment and barricaded himself. As a result, uh, SWAT assets were brought down here, as well as the Boston Police negotiate, uh, negotiators. Uh, negotiations went on for about five or six hours uh, with this individual, in an attempt for him to surrender peacefully. At some point this afternoon, during those negotiations, uh, the individual fired, um, fired at the officers, striking three officers on scene. Um, as a result of being fired upon, uh, officers on scene returned fire, striking the suspect. Uh, the suspect. Um, suffered multiple gunshot wounds and was pronounced on scene. Uh, the three officers were taken to local area hospitals where they all suffered non-life-threatening uh, gunshot wounds. Uh, multiple other officers were also brought to local area hospitals uh, for evaluation. Um, this is still an active scene. Um, witnesses are being interviewed, still canvassing for video. Um, and, uh, you know, I want to highlight um, and make note of this, um, that in the last three days, we've had four Boston police officers suffer injuries as a result of facing um, fa a lethal force. Um, again, this highlights the dangers that the men and women of this department face every single day they put on this uniform. Um, and I can't say enough about the professionalism, um, courage, and bravery that the officers uh, show every day, not just on Saturday night and not just here today, but every day they put on the uniform. How are the officers doing? I mean, you never know. What was that like uh, to go to the hospital and see again more of your officers? Um, it's never a good thing, right? Um, you know, you don't want to see your officers hurt like that. Um, you know, it's very emotional for them and their family, and it's emotional for their department. Um, you know, when you have officers um, shot like that and injured like we've seen the last couple of days, um, you know, your department emotionally takes a little bit of a hit. You know, but this is a strong department, um, and we're going to continue to do, you know, go out and serve the community like we always do. I know, like I said, all I know is um, at the time, like I said, it's an ongoing investigation um, that this individual uh, was purported to have, have pointed a firearm at multiple different individuals inside that apartment today. Did he live there? Uh, it's under investigation. I can't answer that right now. And he just gotten out of jail? No, there's th three officers uh, was struck. I, I can't get into exactly what they They're all non-life-threatening injuries, though. Had the suspect just been released from jail? Uh, that's still under investigation. No, no, again, like, like I said, that, that was all part of the nego negotiations uh, to have him surrender. Uh, and at some point during that, they were still speaking with the individual. Uh, unexpectedly, he just fired upon the officers. Were those officers inside at the time? They were inside. Commissioner, what's your message to the community and people that think it's okay to shoot at the no, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll tell you. Th this is a, a great neighborhood. It really is. Um, unfortunately, you know, the police. You know, we we you know, we're called the scenes. You know, when, when there's violent people. Um, you know, and unfortunately, you know, um, it's been a bad stretch for us uh, again. But you know, as far as this community, it's a good community, and you know, we have a lot of support here, and we appreciate it. Yeah. Again, you know, I, you know, I, I think I articulated that, and we saw this a couple weeks ago, you know, in Albany Street downtown. Um, again, they, that goes to the the restraint, the de-escalation that these officers show. It's their training. Again, um, every time you see this, um, again, it's just an example and a reflection of the training that, that they they receive, and you know, it's put into put into practice here. And, and again, it's just uh, it's um, it's amazing to watch. Yes. Um, I would categorize. I'm serious. A couple of them are serious, yes. Can we go over again exactly where the officers were sitting inside? I, I, just, I, I just can't get into exactly where they were positioned inside there. So they were in the apartment with the suspect? They were, no, they, 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 were inside, they were inside the building. Inside the building. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes.